Why, hello! It's me! Commander Useless. And tonight, we're gonna keep playing a little bit of Dragon Quest X, because why not? It's a good game. Hello, Anik. Hello, Blah Blah. Nice to see you both. I like how I started up my um, stream chat overlay, and it's like, Chat! Connected! You were disconnected from the server. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> good overlay. It's working now, but it, I don't know why it did that. It just, it just had a brain fart, I guess. Uh, I got a lot of windows open. I got a close, like Discord, OBS. No wait. I shall log in while I'm at it. So unlike yesterday when we streamed this, I have the translation API working. That might actually start the music as well. Let's not do that. Mute that real quick. So, we'll be having most of the game in English today. Or tonight, I should say. Including... Well, I mean, it's it's machine translated, so it's... Gonna be a little janky, but at least we can read everything. You know what I mean? So, it should be okay. I was a little scared at first that because it's technically an app that reads the memory and replaces data, even if it doesn't directly modify any of the game's files at all. Um, it's one of those scary things, you know, like, they find out and it's like, hmm, that's against the TOS, you must now die! <laughs> you know what I mean? But I also realized I've had my account for, like, seven years. And it's still active, uh, so I'm pretty sure I'm okay. Especially since I'm a paying customer. But who knows? Uh, I got a little bit of flavored water to save the day today. To save the day today! Sorry. <laughs> ah, PK, PK, PK. Subscribe for 17 months, currently on a six month streak. <laughs> More months, sad face. Oh, come on. I'm sorry it makes you sad, but then you <laughs> then you shouldn't subscribe. Why are you doing this to me? Anyways, thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot. Also, hi, Jason. Haven't seen you in a while. You doing okay? <laughs> Unsub. I mean, go for it. <laughs> it's your money, man. <laughs> I appreciate the thought regardless. I realize there's no music playing, actually. Uh, maybe we should do something about that. <laughs> hmm. Uh, you know, you know a song we haven't heard in a long time that I don't think it's picked up at all? I guess it's from such an old, old, old show. I like this one. Wait, no. It's the wrong one. <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> Just pull up the troll music. Uh. It is the same, from the same place though. Same show, but I got it wrong. It's an old uh, Japanese anime called Get Backers. That's where the song is from. Got a bit of an intro, but it's got some amazing saxophone action, so I like it. Kind of fits the mood, I think. <laughs> and demonetized. I mean, worst case, it'll just be muted for this part of the video, which is fine. I don't think anyone watches the intro on the, um, the YouTube VOD anyway. It's more for the people who are here live. Not dead yet, that's nice. Yeah. How warm is it over there, Jason? And also, have you been shot yet? <laughs> I mean, it is America. Uh, 
Oh, hey, it's, it's like 31C in my room right now, so yeah, I feel you. Also, not getting shot, that's, that's a good good thing. It's a good thing. We need you to be alive so you can be the excellent priest that you are in Dinam that is finally done. But you hoping to get shot soon? I don't. Who, who's gonna heal us in Dinan? You have a job. You can't you can't just leave us. I'm gonna leave with the orbs. Okay. Fine. But you better do your healing. God dang it. I wonder if I can trick anyone into playing this with me at some point. MYCA, that's actually pretty good. It's almost YMCA, yet he make cry again. <laughs> Alright, for the last minutes we can just kinda... Actually, we can, we can probably just enable the game's audio. Switch over to the game screen at this point, that's fine. Turn up a little bit more. There we go. That should be good. Oh, it's still a little quiet. There we go. Ah, it needs... Oh, no, there it is. Okay, never mind. So let me turn on the API. Real quick, like. API functionality enabled. And we'll start the translation tool. This is all happening in the background. And Python has been injected, and bam. There we go. So, now, um, it will look for NPC dialogue. <laughs> oh no, he's tricking people to playing stuff with him again, leaves chat. Look, you liked Helldivers. Don't look at me. Let's boot up our minstrel. The game will restart from the same server as before, because our adventure was interrupted in a location where you can't change servers. Which is fine, because I'm playing on a streaming okay server um you know i probably should have enabled the npc name translation i don't think i did let me double check on that you are you japanese yes okay hang on we can fix this Because I want you guys to be able to read the NPC names and stuff like that. It also includes the monsters. So why not? Yeah, so like the screaming of allies getting stomped on by my mech. Oh no, my friend is down. I better go revive him. Clonk, clonk, clonk. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was my... That was my, um... Experience with that. <laughs> Alright, so we close the tool. We open it up again. Translate NPC names and launch. Might have to restart the game, I'm not sure. Depends on how this is. I do this. Yeah, I need to restart the uh need to restart the game real quick, sorry. That was my bad. I forgot that when I played uh, my other character earlier I didn't actually enable it enable the NPC names. I wanted to save a little bit of that character limit. <laughs> You're going to be the healer, just don't get out of the mech before reviving people. Okay. That sounds good. No wait, that's terrible! Thank you for the stream, bye! Yeah. Not quite. I mean, I said it was going to be a small stream, but I think we can do better than two minutes. Yeah, there we go. We'll watch and update NPCs. Perfect. Just make me the berserk and limit my button and push the forwards. Okay. There we go. As you can see, it will now dynamically translate the names of the NPCs as well. I hope you can see at least. Yeah, you can see. Ah, uh, so many windows. All right. And uh, we didn't have any NPC dialogue translated last time, except for the main story. But now everything is in English. Um. 
outside of the cutscenes, the English is going to be a little janky. That's because it's machine translated. Oh, cat. Candy cat. I took him by surprise. Take that, I'm a fishman with a fan. I'm your biggest fan. I'm a I'm a bad person. I'm I'm just beating up this cat with a with a fan. It was just it was just cleaning itself. It was just it was just hanging out. So I was considering um, maybe not using this thing because this thing does triple your experience gain. I feel like I feel like that might shoot me way ahead of where I should be. Because the main quest gives you a lot of experience, so we're gonna not use it for a while. And if we end up falling behind for some reason, we can always equip it when we want to, you know, grind up some levels on a different job or something. I think this is where I need to be. Yeah. Let me know if the game's too loud, by the way. No, um, I didn't... I didn't set it to translate my name. But if if someone, if an NPC uh, outside of the main story says my name, that will be machine translated. And then you will see it's uh, wrong. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Because I thought I, I said it to be Bento Taro, but it's actually Hento Taro. I didn't use the, the extra like two little um, marks over the, the symbol. So it's it's He, not Be. So this is a main story quest, so this isn't being machine translated. And I don't think I want to read all of this out loud because my vo my throat is a little heh 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 heh. So I'll leave it up a little bit longer than normal so you guys can read it though. At the very least. I'm pretty sure if I had hentai in my name, they would have probably just rejected it automatically. It's like I'm being sucked in. Okay. Can't you hear it? <laughs> Hento Taro. It's like the shell's asking me to take it away. Okay, buddy. Congratulations, buddy. I'll give this to Keel as a gift. Better watch out, she might kill you. <laughs> or maybe she'll keel over. I already keel that joke. Okay. You know... This is probably a bad idea. Yeah, this is probably a bad idea. Old man! <laughs> Wakamono! Old man Bolcha. What a name. <laughs> wow, you're, you're bad at this. Is that true? No, he's lying. <laughs> well, it's fine. I doubt that either of you is stupid enough to cause mischief with this memorial right before the big wedding. Hint, hint. The, the bridegroom. Why not, Balcha? Hmm. That was some Dark Souls. I kind of want to read it now. <laughs> Long ago, a man, a young man from Lane, fell for a woman from the same village, and the two made plans to be wed. So I get into this sort of thing. The bridegroom found a beautiful shell and gave it to his bride. The bride walked into the sea on this beach to purify herself before the wedding. The purification prayer should have ended quickly.
However, whoa, she got blown up. She got black maged. The bride vanished into the sea and never returned. And the grieving young man, he also. It's said that he drowned himself on this very shore. Damn, that is pretty that is pretty dark. Soon a series of disasters struck the village. The villagers feared the soul of the young man who died so tragically was now doing evil. Man, don't do evil! Do weed or something instead. That's why this memorial was built, to appease the soul of that youngster. <laughs> and apparently Ashik is very, uh, very, very emotional. I feel you, buddy. I, I don't think you're right. That's also a fair statement. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Japanese. <laughs> Think I'm about to commit heresy. What is that? Me and you, so... Ah, the guy who killed the previous me. What is a Shelner, anyway? You're gonna become a... a poop lip whatever the hell they're called. I mean, it's none of my business. You can't join my party. <laughs> yeah, those. <laughs> I see. Good luck. As long as you have fun, man, that's all that matters. level am I anyway? Five. Not too bad. Oh yeah, this is on the bottom right. Oops. So, to show you what I mean about the translation, I'm gonna talk to the priest here, because I think they know my name. And because they their dialogue is being machine translated automatically, or dynamically, they should translate my name, too. Blah. -blah. I have come to offer my prayers there, and it's and it is God's will that I have met you. Okay, she doesn't actually say my name this time. Here is it. Where's my flamer? My heavy flamer. Oh no! I could fast travel back, and I might do that a little bit if I have to go really far distances. But for now, the village is literally around the corner. Yeah, I'm with the internet. Good luck, have fun. Dragon Quest X should be taken in slowly. It's 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 more of an experience than something you want to just run through. It's a good little game. Here we are. Head to this house right here. Can you call this a house? I guess it's a house. Hey, who are you? Detective Patron. Uh huh. I've studied all kinds of monsters. Ah, yes, the quest to unlock the photo mode. On a tight budget. There's Rebecca, Chief Satori. Whoa. 
Did you see? Did you see my movement there? The jagged like half run. That was weird. Anyways, hey chief. Ah, uh, see, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't say Hento Taro as it should. For some reason, it's translating my name as Hentaro, which is kind of hilarious. So I'm okay with this. <laughs> it should be Hento Taro with an with a U at the end, but this is how it's translating it. So I'm Hentaro now. Now we're in a main story event, so I think my name will be Katakana again. It's still can go over here being Keel. I mean, I can see why this guy won, considering I fight with a fan. I do know the cave. Bring back the water. Okay. Take this. A water fetching test. It doesn't really matter. Um, you want to, if you want, so servers nine and ten, I think they're those are the beginner servers. Every five hours, there's a thirty minute event where there's a big chance for there to spawn in um, gold and silver slimes of all different kinds. So if you want to have a super big boost, you can do that. Uh, but you don't have to. Let's do it! Here. <laughs> Hentaro, or Hentaro, I guess. We take a bottle too. Yay! Take the shit. He's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yes, anime man. Can someone play like the Pokemon Red or Blue um, rival theme when he walks off? Smell you later, Hentaro. All right. Hey, I saw your name just <laughs> translate on the spot. That's funny. Okay, so what we could do is make sure we carry upgrades, because I don't think I bought upgrades, did I? No. Let's make sure we actually have some decent equipment. What's up, Hentaro? Hey, you, you don't have the double T for my name. Hmm. Oh, we can actually use a leather armor. That's not too bad. We'll probably do that. All right, money. I forgot. Hmm. Yeah, I see. Well, we should try and make a little bit of money on the way. I guess we'll take the biggest upgrade in armor. Which surprisingly is the hat. I think. Okay. See, you're equipping this for the first time, so here's an important thing to note. He's been chosen, you can no longer be given to anyone else. Yeah, it's fine. They're basically bound to you. I remember playing some Japanese games with the Machine Translation API in the past, and the translation was way slower. Yeah, it's improved a lot. Also, uh... Deep L is probably one of the better options out there. 
The eco clerk. Hello. Dolphin board evangelists. Wow. Yeah, I'll take a dollar board. Thanks. Andy. So a doll board is like the most simple vehicle in the game. Yeah, no, I know how they work. Well, you're right, rest fuel you will need. That doesn't make any sense. I think that's a poor translation. Yeah, I know how this works. <laughs> I wonder how long the loan period is. So here's a dollar board. I'll show you when we get outside. Can't use it here. Special Japanese, the Bella Superior. Well, that's good to know. The other option was a Google. Here's a dollar board, by the way. Yep. It's kind of weird. I always enjoy these because it looks so silly. It kind of encompasses this game as a whole. It's very silly. Also, considering Hugh guys on foot, is this does this constitute cheating? I'm okay with that. So we're heading to the underground lake cave just up ahead. On the way, though, I should keep an eye out for loot, because we can actually make some decent, like, early, super early game money just by picking up a random loot around the place. Not seeing a whole lot, though. Is normal stuff outside the store still untranslated? You need an API for it to be translated. But all of the story quests, inventory items, menus, stuff like that will be translated without the API. If you use that link I gave you the other day, you can find um, how to get an API. It's free. Let's see how tough you are. Calamari. Yum. I love this silly pose we have. Yeah, these aren't too bad. Five a whole experience. Well. If you boot up um, DQX Clarity and it has red text saying API uh, something not not initiated, then yeah, it's not it's not completely correct. Can I be replaced by robots? Uh, theoretically, but no one can replace you in my heart. I'm gonna gain one level on the way, because I feel like I'll, I'll be in a better shape. It's a crab, it's a crab, it's a crab. It's a crab. It's not a crab. Anyways, it's good to see you, non possums. I'll keep slapping you with this fan until you die. These can be slightly scary because I have a habit of casting uh, an ice spell. I forget what it's called. Let's, let's uh, get off this thing. Two skill points. Let's actually spend some of those skill points because I want to use the fan. So I'll just 
put points into that, I think. That'll help a bit. Yeah, I've also been pretty tired today. I didn't get much sleep last night. There we go, that's better damage. Oh, it's drawing! Slap. Ooh, golden chest means loot. Hell yeah. This will sell for like 100 gold or something, so uh, that, that covers most of our basic equipment needs already. I think from here I'll stop attacking these things because uh, we're in a good shape already. We'll be okay. We gotta get through this cave at some point. <laughs> I love the little, like, arm shake it does. Yeah! I have left in my VPN is paper traffic and I last time I paid was in 2017 or 2016 about ten dollars <laughs> you, you really don't pay much data for traffic <laughs> uh, the map is so tiny it's okay though Oh, hey, what are you? I don't want to fight you, just to see. Lunatic! Well, well, well. Ow, you actually hurt me. I can fight you, though. It's fine. Oof. Five? That's no good. One more should do it, though. Of course, he got a last hidden. Ooh, he's worth 13 experience right now. Not bad. So yes, this game is online. It is, like... If I were to head over to the same server and start a location as Jojo, I would be able to say hello to him. That would be quite far away from where I am, and it would be a deadly journey at level 6, so we're not gonna do that, but... Perhaps in the future, you know? Are we here yet? Yep, here we are. There's a beautiful lake with blue water. Would you like to fill the small glass bottle that Chief Satori gave me with water from the lake? Yes. Yay! A bit late, Yuga. I can't believe it either, although I cheated with a dollar board. Yes, it is. Shatter the bottle, show your independence. Tell that to use a... But... <laughs> Narrator, he did not win. I don't have, uh, no, I don't have evac. Oh well, we'll just walk out. I didn't see a whole lot of loot on the way. I'll keep an eye out on the way back. It 
such a silly vehicle. I still wonder how long the rental period is. Considering you get ten to fuel with it, probably quite a while. Water sedge. A hover segue from the future. I see. Although you misspelled it. That's okay. Mini metal. I think it's spelled like segu. <laughs> S-E-G-G-U-E. -G -G -E. It's a weird word. English makes no sense. That would never sell. Agreed. It is pretty dumb. But hey, we made it out of the cave. There's quite a bit of travel in this, if you can't tell. MMO, you know. Although, to be fair, a lot of Dragon Quest games is all, you know, running. Kind of a JRPG standard. But finishing this part of the quest should be very lucrative for our level. And with the jewel we found earlier, we can sell that and make probably more than enough gold to actually purchase uh, the rest of our armor. It would be nice to be able to purchase an upgraded fan as well. Well, not upgraded, but, you know, a better one. There are three ways to get equipment in this. Uh, one, of course, is to buy... Uh, I, th I think up to level 35 gear? I'm, I'm not sure. From shops. NPC shops. The other is to buy it from the player market, from crafters who make it. Lastly, it's monster drops. I'm probably going to be relying more on monster drops, depending on how expensive the market is nowadays. Well, of course, the NPC shops as well. Oh, you're right. Segway, as a, as a marketing brand, is spelled that way. You're right, you're right, you're right. But like as a segue the word for like a story segue then it's segui or something weird hey 200 gold for that pink pearl score i could sell the free fuel they gave me that's hilarious This is good, though. This should pay for all my beginner gear. Like to buy something. Leather armor. Yeah. This armor might look very familiar, because we wore the same thing in um, the, the prologue. Technically, we should probably wear the show opener stuff, because it's better for our, um, deftness and agility, but you know what? It's fine. Don't care about me maxing our stats this early in the game. Oh, no, no, no. Shamu. You buying? I'm buying. Do you have a better boomerang or fan? Yes, you do. Little seven. Okay. And yeah, that's fine. Buy a fan. It's only three points better. But three points better. Can I use shields. I can use shields. Wow, a whole point five percent block rate. Nice. Can I use either of these, I wonder? Minstrel can use the bronze shield and... and the scale shield. 
This one's better. Defense one, style one, weight two. This one's just better. We're the most excellent warrior with a fan and a shield. I did it, Chief Satori. Oh, now you're saying my name with two T's, huh? Can't make up your dang mind. Yeah, have, have my bottle of water. Oh, just a bit too late. <laughs> dot 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 Just a little too late, Husa. Gotta go fast. Show me the bottle. I wonder how we can tell. Or maybe it can't, and it's just making it up. Yay, I get a zoom stone! We can set teleport points now. Yes, as it says here. No matter how much you use it, it never runs out. What a shame, Husa. You'll have to wait for the next opportunity. Can't wait that long. Goodbye, Husa. Wow. He's so happy. Thanks, Husa. <laughs> Later, nerd. Don't go screwing this up. Here it is, Chief. This cursed shell that I brought. Oh ho! Uh, on the beach. I guess that's like a wedding ring for these people. A very loud wedding ring. A very loud little, little ring. There we go. Honestly, yeah, this game, this game, like, I know it's very old, but it's beautiful. And you'll see what I mean even more soon. If you didn't already get that feeling from the, uh, the prologue. The single-player prologue, because that was pretty good. Ah, Lenham Fields. Yeah, I know where, where that is, actually. I remember. Excuse me, Chief. We actually also have, um, access to some emotes. A few of them. Like this one. You might recognize this one. <laughs> yep, da! No, this is just- this is just one culture, one part of the continent. Where the fish people live. They're not weird, they're cool. You're weird. Oh yeah, we can throw dice. Come on, big numbers. Okay, okay. Out of a hundred, that's not too bad. My 100-sided die. Um, how are we doing on items? Okay, we got plenty of herbs. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and beat up some enemies on the way when we get to the next field because I want to try and hit level 7 for the new equipment. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's that the ex animations are not exaggerated, but they really carry the emotions well. Yeah, it's actually kinda common in Japanese games, especially ones here where, where they don't have voices to carry that. When it's just text, they kind of try and rely on the body language more. I just think it looks great, honestly. So I use the dollar board to get there. Segway time. What I really like about Dragon Quest in general is that it's such a, it's such a chill game, you know? It's got pretty music. It's got nice, lush, vibrant environments. It's a very colorful little game. And generally, uh, people in this game are kind of nice. For instance, if you happen to see a player in combat, you can run over to them and uh, cheer them on. And when you cheer them on, everyone in the fight, in their party, will get uh, one step of tension up. So their next attack will cause more damage. You run over and just yell, Gumbare! This is a not exciting animation that carries the emotion well. I mean, you made it, so you'd know better than me. <laughs> also, let's fight a mage cat. Uh, a meowgician, yes. Actually, mages in this game are like the most dangerous enemy. Ooh. Hey, sweet. I can't use the I can't use staves, but uh, I'm gonna keep it anyway for if I change class in the future. I love that every race has different animations too. Like you can have the same weapon of three different races, and they they carry their weapons completely differently. Man, I'm just beating up kitties for no reason. And other wizard stuff. I don't need more than one though. But, you know, as as the Unix says, and jokes aside, I'm a big fan of uh, the animated hello that you made. It's really nice. <laughs> Finally, some recognition around here, am I right? How tough are you? Looks to be about even. <laughs> so modest, too. Ow. I should do something about that. That's better. Track mage. God dang it. Oh, you're casting spells, are you? That's always what you do when you back off. Kazap! Lower my defense. What a jerk. There we go. Not accurate enough to fight those things. Hey, 14 experience though. That ain't bad. This would have been easier if I had a party member or two. But hey, at least we made it. I think there's a chest in here with um, MP restoratives. <laughs> All these years, and I still remember that. Nice. Now, you know, we might as well... 
If a parent comes from Jula Town to marry into a lane village, please pray for them. I would like to save my zoom stone for this place, so I can get here quickly. I also see a healing fountain. Oh, that's good. I thought it was a healing fountain, but just a normal one. Sad face. Is there any more loot I can grab here? Not that I can see. Oh, an innkeeper. I could use some MP, so that's not too bad. Why are we starting as a level 1 lowborn fishman? I mean, he's probably also a level 1 lowborn fishman. Ugh. <laughs> Seven, you're about to turn gold. Do you want to rest? What a nice translation. <laughs> it's seven, you're about to turn gold. Okay, I'll rest. I don't want to turn gold. Seven gold to rest, though. That's not bad. Good morning. Have a good night. <laughs> I think Narm is here. Is on something. Oh, yes. If you're a traveler who's taken a day off for the first time, there's something important you should know. We, the innkeepers, are sometimes asked for the names of travelers who have taken a day off. Fame is a measure of how well a person is known to the world as an adventurer. You complete quests for people in need, you work hard at your craft, you slay, neglect you slay neglected demons. Oh no. What a horrible life. Once you achieve a certain level of fame by working for the good of the world and the good of others, you can rest at the inn and we'll tell you your level of fame. Have a good day. Thanks, weirdo. <laughs> Not the neglected demons. So I think we talked to friend Lily. Lilia. Are you the Shellner from Mashik? Yes, that's me. I ask your name. <laughs> your name is Hentaro. <laughs> I mean, he's the one who's gotten it the closest so far. It's Hen it's Hento Taro, but you know, it's close enough. It's Hentaro, is it? Thank you for traveling so far. I'm sorry, but the bride, Miss Kiel, is walking with her attendants right now. It's fine. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Seems the rumors were true. Oh, there we go. See, nothing bad happened at all. This is Hentotaro. Welcome. I am Ashik's bride to be. Shalner Hentel Taro. Sure, we can go right now. Oh, right. The shell. The cursed shell. I like how he's not here to do it himself. Or just a delivery boy. Your bridegroom gives you this. She sounds so unimpressed. Um, I, mm, purity, you say? Tell me a monster's gone inside. And Totaro the Bride. Don't worry, he's just the fat Slenderman. I'm not your bride. No nee. Okay. 
Okay then. You could just walk like a normal demon. These dang neglected demons. A black monster, hey. That's that's racist. You're racist, Lily. You know the story of the memorial in the beach? Yes, I do. We were told by an old man. Sunrise Beach. Okay. So, he's old. That's a leap of logic, but I can see what you're trying to say. Protecting the bride is an important part of the Sheldon's role. Also, that's me <laughs> he's just saying like, I'm I, this is way over my head. This is this is on you. You you have to save her, not me. Sure, I can do that. Now, someone unfortunately, we have to walk back. But uh, it is what it is. Before we do though. I think there's a nice little quest we can do here. Um, not yet, but soon we'll be able to take a quest here to unlock our storage. Don't tell me that monster is neglected. Oh, he was. That's why we gotta kill him. You know, maybe I can fast travel there, actually. Um... There we go. Thank you, Square Enix! Uh, oof. Hi. I wanna save here, so in case I die to this boss, I can respawn here. I might already be saved here. I'm not sure. But, hey, let's make sure. Alright, bye. Now, I want to be level 7. Need 27 experience. We'll just slap some cats until we get there. Tap for tap for tap for tap for. Ow! I'm gonna expedite this by equipping this silly hat. Then we'll take it off again. triples the experience you get, so this should make it pretty fast. So Dragon Quest X has a really big trial, where you can beat, I think, the first two... Like, the, the main game in this first expansion for free. You can't play through, of course, the entire, like, all of the games, all of the uh, expansions, but... Uh, that's pretty nice, you know? It's kind of like Final Fantasy XIV. There we go. What a fan that is. I learned a new spell. Ah, now I get evac. Okay. So, you know, it is kind of worth it to try this game. If you can deal with the uh, annoying... Top-class fan user. If you can deal with the VPN and all that, it's def definitely worth checking out. Especially with the translation. I love old school games like this. The turn-based combat is good. The story is pretty fun now that I can read it. It's actually really nice. And overall, it's just an enjoyable experience, you know? It's nice and chill. I love the fact it's multiplayer, too. Alright, so... Uh... Right, yeah, I had a lot of stuff. 
Whoops. Sort these. Ahem. Sort these. Oh. Alright. to live with my bride forever. She is. <laughs> she is, yes. The shell that suppressed my regret. <laughs> I like how he's self-aware. I found the monster, but I suck. Decently honorable of you. Kilo Hanase. Her name's not Dahlia. Hey, I'm here too. Yes, I am. Why? You seem very single minded. Most bosses you face during the story or during quests will allow you to choose their difficulty level before fighting them. Boss difficulty can be set using the miss command and then choosing settings, and then boss difficulty. Different difficulty levels can be set for when you're playing alone and in a party. So feel free to set it to your liking. Well, I'm not in a party, but I, I want to try strong anyway. Because double XP sounds good. I'm alone! <laughs> and I'm dancing! Alright, this could potentially be bad. <laughs> Yeah, this might be bad. I'm doing decent damage to him, though. I'm gonna wait between attacks to see if, uh... Save my second turn like this, in case I need to heal rapidly. Yeah, slap the shit out of him. Black Groom. Slap. Not hurting me as much as he used to back in the day. So I think we're okay. He can crit though, which is what I'm worried about. I also have some special moves. Like this one. That's why you gotta be careful. It's gonna be a long fight, it looks like. Well, thanks to the fact that we can heal, we should be fine. It's halfway now. I wonder if he has a rage mechanic or not. He does. Oh! I got eye beamed. I've got a knife for this sort of thing. Misk. Oh. Uh, no, it doesn't, but I'm probably a little bit over leveled for this. But 
There are some fights that scale with difficulty. I mean, this is like a tutorial boss, pretty much. It's a little worse if you don't have healing and if you don't pay attention to your uh, turn order. That's not gonna save you at this point, buddy. If we had a warrior, though, this would be <laughs> this would be over pretty quickly. Uh, I can take one more. There we go. It used to be a little harder. I feel it might be because it was properly equipped this time too. Hey, 500 XP. Nice. <laughs> you learn crack. Nice. <laughs> it's too late, Black Room. Just give up. I know you were neglected, demon, but this is ridiculous. So if you play the offline version of this game after the prologue, you play the sibling, right? The sibling that we have. And uh, they're doing something else at this part in the story. Which causes this to happen. Yes, this is the mainland where the, all the weird dark fog shit was uh, covering everything. Is this the ogre's homeland? And then these terrible little things. Betty's homeland. The dwarfs. You know, in real life, if, if a big beam of light like this hit in the middle of the night, I'm pretty sure people would freak the hell out and not be happy. Elves homeland. Hey, nice to see you. My name is Reg. Hi, Reg. Yeah. Yeah, you did. I'm mine! Forgive me, I couldn't stop myself. My heart was in darkness.
Hello, old man. Yeah, you, you sucked. I beat him up with a fan, dude. Since you're asking, PK, there was another couple in the past where the... the bride to be wed performed a purification ritual out in the water and she was taken by i don't know a demon or something whatever happened she uh, ended up drowning and the brit the bridegroom couldn't save her so he took his own life here as well and drowned himself so that's who they were <laughs> all's well that ends well though Kind of a terribly sweet situation, actually, but what can you do? <laughs> yeah, we got some levels. Oh, a more fan skill. Now easier to crit. Fan expert. So we did learn um, a skill. I forget what you see skills. You learned flower power. <laughs> Scatters petals and dazzle nearby enemies. I'm not sure what that does in 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 um, reality, so to speak. We can try it real quick. Let's scatter some petals, yo. <laughs> it's a fun animation. I wonder what it does. Let's use it until it works. <laughs> he ran away! You know, that's an appropriate response. I'm okay with that. Some weird fishman comes up and starts spraying petals in your face? Yeah, I'd run away too. I'm gonna make this work, though. Oh, it blinds them. That's actually really nice. And he also ran away. <laughs> All right, then. Blinding enemies is really nice, though. For drawn out fights where they have decent melee damage, that's a great way to avoid taking a whole bunch of... Uh, well, oh, like the whole run to that. Damn pollen allergies. Yeah, it's getting your eyes, man. Yeah, excuse me. Alright, I'm gonna use the inn first. Well no, I think we get to, I think we get to sleep for free. This will finish the first part, the prologue of the of the online story, not the prologue in the offline story. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I had to find a new shell. That's true. Are you guys eating sausage? I 
don't know, something weird about fish eating sausages. Oh no, I think they're carrots. I don't know. Your role as Shellner isn't over yet. And Dotaro and Bolsha prepared for the wedding. Then morning came. Grouse. <laughs> so uh, I still Keel is just a name, you know. It's funny to me. I don't allow it. Ah, that's what the water bottle was for. What if, what if you have a really bad singing voice and you want to actually get married? Also, how, how do divorces work here? <laughs> Whatever. I'm sure it's fine. You may now hug the bride, I guess. Hooray. All the people. Except for Husa. Good gravy. I have to sing in reverse to get a divorce. <laughs> they were in their wedding clothes already, it's just things kind of dragged on. I think if you go to a big town before you obtain this, you just can't enter. Off you go. Yes, they have. I don't want to marry you, Balcha, I'm sorry. Thank you for telling me that, for the player's sake. Scushy. Take a look in this mirror. Don't say a word, just look into this mirror. It's me! This is the mirror of Ra, which reflects the truth. You're a human named Hentotaro, not the wedding Hentotaro, right? I don't know why, but... Excuse me, I'm getting really sleepy. Also, that's very convenient. Yeah, probably. Sure. Go forth, Hento Taro. Determine your destiny. Ah, good. My train pass. Wonderful. Now I could go harass uh, Jojo some. <laughs> In fact, Jojo! Are you listening? I don't know why I'm shouting your name, like, it's gonna reach you. In Spain. <laughs> I 
Thanks as a parent for a young wedding named Hentotaro. She helped me find the wedding Hentotaro's true parents. That's, not, that's what they always wanted. Large castle researchers. That's not much to go on. <sighs> Head to the town of Julet, the neighboring island of Jewel. Now, he says the road is far too dangerous to travel alone, and he's right. Thankfully, you get uh, some AI party members to help you out. And they're a way higher level than me. Whoa, 3,800 experience. Nice. Yeah, they're level 28. They're very handy, though. He gave us a warrior, a mage, and a priest. I learned Zidn. Alright. Qualified Adventurer. Title and given to those who have been recognized as a qualified member of society. Yeah, these guys are superior to us in like every way. That's okay though. It won't last forever. I kind of want to get 35 points. There's Water Slaughterer. Oh, I see. Butterfly bop. <laughs> this is really nice, though. This will be very, very handy. For survival. Yeah, Fandango is a great name. I also need to get Sobering Slap. Let's work towards 35 points in the fan for now. Fan Master. I sure hope there's no cutscene as I'm leaving. God damn it. Hey everyone. They changed clothes, PK. I gotta go. I'm never coming back. Right, Keel? I'm not giving you one, bye. Bye. <laughs> she doesn't say anything, she's just, yeah, bye. Hey, loser. I see. That own strength, I couldn't help you defeat the first boss of the game, I see. Okay. I'm pretty sure you're... You stick out fairly easily. Smell you later, Red. Okay. How long have we been going for, anyway? Uh... One and a half. Not too bad. We'll go for two. So anyways, when you're out in the field like this, you have your party members with you. As you can see, they're all more qualified than I am. But that's okay. 
Also, I gotta say I really like that they upgraded their armor a bit. They used to have much worse stuff. A little bit stronger now. You know what? I can make this go a little faster, actually, because we did set our prayer stone. Or, not prayer stone, our zoom stone. Swoop. Up here. Nice. I think I can now do the storage quest. Come up. Ah, I'll run. The Love and Trust Depository. Well, I have neither of that, so we can't have it. Glittering ink. That bubble slime drops. It makes me wonder if the name is actually Babaru Suraimu. Babaru Suraimu, yep. <laughs> it certainly is. Oh my god, you got my name right! It's Hentotaro! You did it! Well, you're missing the U at the end, but you know, I'll take it. Everyone else calls me Hentaro. Damn it, you got you got it wrong on the second try. <laughs> you bastard. Oh well, well one we're one for two. It's okay. <laughs> oh, it's storming outside. So anyways, killing one bubble slime is not gonna be a big deal. It might be a little hard to spot them, especially in this weather, but should be fine. Uh, should be around here. Just gotta keep an eye out. We saw one earlier. Ah, there's one! Bubble slime! I fight thee! This thing's gonna get completely wrecked from this uh, this party. I love the the sword stance for the uh, the witty. How they lean it over their shoulder like that. Okay, bye. And yes, I, I party members fight a little bit slow. There's a, there's a glittering ink we need. Ooh, a dagger. Good though. This will also yield a little bit more experience. Ugh, excuse me. I think the reason AI fight a little a bit slower is because they say one turn in case they need to like emergency heal or whatever. Got my name wrong again. And again. Yeah, sure. Well, geez, I hope I hope my signature looks good. If it's permanent. Hooray! I can use the storage now, which is gonna be super handy later. Hey! 1800 experience. Stamp. Cool. Da -da. So we can kind of take a bit of a shortcut here. This little boat will take us closer to the lower Jewel Island. Hey, Yandy. It's free. Nice. I'm 
sorry, I can't stop yawning. Skip. Now if you'll excuse me. There is an opportunity to grind a bit now because these party members they give you are kind of permanent. They're not particularly great, but they are permanent. Um, they will never leave you unless you kick them out, if I, if I remember right. So they're very handy to have until you reach level 28-ish yourself. Soon enough, though, once we get to Jewelet, we can actually hire our own uh, NPCs to join us. Which will all be players. You can register to be a uh, hireable character when you uh, log out. Which is pretty neat. And if you have friends, you can hire them when they're offline too. A skip. So what do you guys think of Dragon Quest X? Other than, you know, travel. <laughs> Um, yes, you do in fact get experience in gold based on how long you were hired for, or how many times, or whatever it is. But you do in fact get rewards for it. And you don't lose anything for it, so it's just literally kind of being helpful. Especially if you have, like, a decent setup, but... There's also people that will help you just by, you know, they pick you because... Why not? You know, you're, you're not the best, but you could use some help. So they pick you and they, they're out adventuring with you. When you come back, you might have some good stuff. Metal War. Slap. Oh, I see how it is. Yeah, this warrior is, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Ooh, a whip. Hmm. I'll hold on to that. Not top. I'm not going to be grinding here. Not really. I probably should. But, nah. I'll be fine. You get a lot of experience just from doing the main quest. These allies are just to make sure that you don't die on the way there. Because if I was alone here and got, a, got a, into a fight, I would probably be a little bit vulnerable. <laughs> the warrior was surprised. What kind of spells do I have? Oh, I got sap. That's really nice. This lowers defense. That's why I got hit for 44. I think that spike back creature thing is way too tough. But I, you know, I'm a curious sort, right? Grab! It's a crab. 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 I missed. Lame. Don't mind me, big scary thing. I'm just gonna grab this item. Goodbye. No, 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 no. It's a crab. I didn't want to grind. Oh, critical. Definitely gonna hit. Jesus. I'm holding them back. With the fence down, this goes by even faster. Almost there.
Let's use the dollar board for a bit. Oh, hey. Yoink. Kind of dark, this cave. There we are. It's just a short ride over to the north. And we'll hit one of the main towns for the wedding. I finally get to see what the hell this cutscene is. Cause this happens to everyone the first time they get to their their uh, racist main town. The first time, and I have no idea what's happening. So I'm. Um, let's see. Let's see if the translation can make some sense sense of this. And yes, that is a good idea. In the event of total destruction, damn, that is that's hardcore. This is the cutscene, I mean. What the? Thud. It's a fairy. I'm fine. San Vitalia. You are definitely uh, one of those things. <laughs> no. <laughs> Naturally, it's quite strange for Conja's wedding to be here. Yeah, I can see that. I see. Kind of a weird place for that, but okay. Get my name right, get my name right, get my name right! Oh, right, main story, so I guess I got it right, hold on. <laughs> um, can I say no? That it, That is an interesting journey, also... I feel pointless, but okay. You know what? No, it's not pointless. Okay. Um, yeah. Is this how Link feels? Shabam! The spell of yellow meetings. Cool. He gave me a UI element. Neat. Okay. A mini metal? Yeah, that sounds great. I am pretty likable. Thanks. I love a diary. You're not the king in yellow, are you? There's a lot of yellow going on. I'm a little worried.
all this like cosmic stuff. I don't know. Okay. I'm pretty sure she just gave me a death note and she's lying. Like, yeah, type the names of people in this book. It'll be great. Be seeing ya. Alright, bye. So that's the crack spell does. Yeah, I think you're right. How do you fly in space anyway? There's no air. Whatever. Try to find them and talk to them. You got it, fairy. Like you, Sujin! From nowhere, a mysterious voice crackled. Or cackled, perhaps. How would I forget? It's literally been like three seconds. Damn it, it's not hen- whatever. Okay. Hey, cool. Free Zoomstone. Awesome. Thanks, lady. Savan, Vitalia, whatever. See, I'll tell you one thing. Mark a meeting. People who have something to tell you have pink names. Maybe I will. It's just for, you know, zooming. Okay. Sure. You're... The, the roof of your buildings are shrimp tails. Scaly shrimp tails. I think it's that building over there, guys. You know, I just have a feeling. All right, so there's a number of things we should be doing here before we move on with the main plot. Mostly to unlock mechanics, game mechanics that are quite important. Um, we're going to start with one. Very simple one, real quick. Which will allow us to collect daily rewards, uh, collect rewards from unused playtime, up to 440 hours of it, and um, also change servers. So we should do that right now. It's also very simple. We're gonna talk to the concierge, and she is very, 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 very chatty. This is the Travel Concierge. We've been dispatched by the World Association of Innkeepers to provide a variety of services to adventurers. Please let me introduce you to some of the services we offer. First of all, we provide the, we provide the service. Wow! Just by registering with our concierge, you can receive golden tickets every Friday. Next, we offer an, an energy recharge exchange service. This is a service that allows you to exchange your unused time for useful items that allow you to gain more experience. <gasps> Taking your books. <laughs> I got so bored with her that I just like... Took a book and started reading it right in front of her. Didn't actually want to read this though. Stop. Stop. Okay, yeah, thank you. Welcome back. Here's the World Association of Innkeepers. This is the Travel Concierge Service Counter. By the way, Mr. Hentoro, that's not my name. The World, Inke the World Innkeeper Association has a surprise for you. We at the World In Association want to make your adventurer's life more comfortable. Therefore, we have gathered the collective strength of the association and invented a certain useful tool. It's called the Fairy Mirror. This fairy, this mirror will allow you to see yourself in various pieces of equipment without actually having to change your clothes. We hope you will use this mirror to find your own unique and creative coordination of fashionable equipment. We hope you enjoy your adventurer's life with the Fairy Mirror. So this lets us glamour equipment. That's what that means. I want to register for use. I see that you have registered your account. Travel Concierge is a powerful support service for adventurers. We only accept registrations from people who are at least level 15, but I see that you're level 15 or above. Would you like to would you like to explanation of our service before registering? No. I see. Then I will explain it later. No, don't explain it at all. 
We would like to start the procedure right away, but at the request of our general manager, we ask that you deliver one of the items specified in your re registration when you defeat She Slime. You often you often drop off an ore called a stolonium. I don't think I do. <laughs> and we could like we could like you to bring it to us. Will you accept this quest? Yes. Now, the quest text there, as you can see, is in Japanese, but I will show you something in a moment. Thank you very much. Now, would you please tell us the name of your customer? Yes, I do. <laughs> you are so... Did you also cast a crack spell? <laughs> Could you please tell us the name of your customer? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's like, yes, indeed. You must be Mr. Hentaro. Hooray, you got my name kind of right. Almost. It's Hen Hen Hentotaro, but, you know, at least it's one T. Whatever, close enough. Send your name and record in our network. Now you can give the Stolonium to your, you received to any of our guys in any town and will be able to process your subsequent registration. We pray that you will be able to obtain a Stolonium safely. <sighs> Stop talking! Which service do you require today? Nothing. No, not explanation. No, no, no. That's right, I have a recommendation for you. Please give it a look. I don't understand any of that. We would like to recommend you some information that you might find useful. I don't. It isn't a quest or anything, so there's nothing to accept a report. If you haven't given it a try yet, we hope you'll incorporate it into a journey somehow. Thank you for using our service. We hope you have a wonderful adventure. <gasps> okay. We'll go defeat that she slime she mentioned. It's literally, like, right outside. Ooh, man. That lady knows how to talk. Is that a lady with a fishing rod? Amazing. So this Strike Force, uh, Sinon guy... These are gate guards that offer you... Well, let's see. You're an adventurer, aren't you? I'm, I am Strike Force Sinon of the United Monster Strike Force. Your name is Hentaro. How do you know? I, well, I mean, it's kind of right. I have a request for adventurers. It's a simple story, so please listen to it. The Monster Strike Force is a specialized, special organization that protects the peace and safety of Astolcha by striking down dangerous monsters. We're still fighting all over the world, but we are short on manpower and the number of monsters is only increasing. So we are asking you adventurers to help us. The request is simple. Once a day, once a day, <laughs> once a day, once a day, you must kill a specified number of monsters in a specified location. Simple, isn't it? After you accomplish a task, report it to us and we will reward you with experience and gold according to the number of points you have earned. Depending on the request, you'll also get a reputation bonus for every report you make. How about we get started right away? Sure. So what this means is just we pick a, we get a list of monsters to kill. And we can pick one, and if we complete it, we can go return it for golden XP. If there's a party leader in the same town, you can share the request with your companions. In other words, you can receive the same request as your companions. If you see a yellow request, it's an urgent and special request. I'll haggle the fee. Oh man. Really good, really good rewards this, uh, for these today. Foo dog. Ham's Shamwich. What a name. I don't think I'll pick one up, because I don't really have the time to do these tonight. But, uh, yeah, th the amount of gold you get is equal to the amount of, amount of points you get. So, if we were to do the the beacons, for instance, we would get 8,000 gold and 8,000 experience. That's pretty cool, but I won't take one today. You want me to stop? It's a really good way to get early money. And of course, you know, a bunch of levels. So what's the she slam, you ask? Well, you're looking at some. Yep, it's a she slime. Alright, this might be a tough fight. I'll do my best, though. Take this, demon! Okay. And there's the Estolnium. 
All right, quest over. Bye. I think we'll hand this in, and then I'll take a break for tonight. I know it's been a short stream, but I'm so tired, and it's so warm. I just want to sleep. At least I'm not, like, uncontrollably, um, yawning anymore. So anyways, I don't know what you think about watching Dragon Quest. I mean, it's fun to play. I'm not sure if, you know, watching it is all that interesting. But I like it well enough. If you want to see more of this next time, I'll definitely play some more. I don't mind. I got a... I got a month subscription after all. There's a lot of story to go through. But we can also go back to uh, Sherlock Holmes, which is another good game. Welcome back! Courtesy of the World Association of Innkeepers, this is the Travel Concierge Service Counter. Mr. Hentar is required to bring his Alstolium in order to register for Travel Concierge Services. We are wondering if you have brought your Alstolium with you. Yes. To this usher, yeah. Take that, usher! Thank you very much, I did indeed receive the Alstolium. Now then, Mr. Hentaro, first of all, please listen to what our general manager has to say. <coughs> you are powerful enough to acquire Alstolium. I am deeply impressed. In the name of the general manager, I offer you, Mr. Hentaro, the world in association. All of it. <laughs> I hereby authorize you to use the travel concierge. I hope you will make use of the travel concierge to help you on your adventures. We look forward to your continued patronage of our association. That's all. From f Your registration is now complete. From now on, you can freely use the services of travel concierge. Ah! Yatta! Hey, 4,000 experience. Awesome. That, that's kind of worth it for listening to all of your incessant talking. A company concierge and travel concierge. I did it. <laughs> oh, stop. Stop. Okay. <sighs> well, hey, level 17. Doing good. Oh man. Perfect. Uh, do I keep leveling fan skill? I mean, I might as well just max it out, honestly. I, I do want to get Sobering Slap pretty soon, though, because it sounds funny, because it is, but it also cures a lot of status effects. Your character just runs over and gives gives the character a good old like clap to the face, <laughs> and they snap out of whatever status effect it removes. It's funny. So a skill that has EX after the name means it's exclusive to this class. If I learn Sobering Slap, I can use it no matter what class I play. It will just always be available. Uh, yes, you can. You can repeat quests. I'll do this for now. Fine. I guess we'll upgrade our equipment while we're here. Yeah, that sounds about right. You can also do things a little sneaky. Let's say that I want to change class and level it up quickly. I can finish a bunch of quests on this guy. Then I can change class before turning them in, right? And then when I turn them in, I can get all that experience for my new class. So you can kind of, you know, help yourself along. Let's see, what do you have? An iron fan. Ooh, it's way better. Hey, give me that thing. A light shield. You have more style and more weight, but the same defense. However, I like style. So we'll go with it. I think it'll look a little bit better anyway. Yeah, it does. Yeah, 
Let's see what we got here. Ooh. You can use all kinds of good stuff. I need something good in deafness and, uh... I'm not sure if style is what I need. Agility. Interesting. I also got the robes, the apothecary stuff. Yeah, it actually improves your magic stats, so this would be useful to equip as a mage. If I wanted to use more of the magic for this character class, I would probably pick the robes, but uh, I think I'll stick to the fan. Also good style, apparently. <laughs> and that's about it. These items weren't available in the shops before. I see that they've added more of them. That's actually pretty nice. Gives you a lot more choice. I like that. I like that quite a bit, actually. Oh man, they even sell the silver armor now. That's great. I, I actually approve of that a lot. That's really nice. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go with the iron armor. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Huge boosts all around. I'm glad they updated the shops I had more equipment in them, so you don't have to go looking around for some of this stuff, so you don't, you know... So you actually have decent equipment as you level up. There we go. Looking pretty snazzy. Let's see. We'll go ahead and use the storage. While we're at it, store our old gear. I'm a, I'm a really big fan of the armor sets in this game. They just look really, like, fitting of the world they're in. You know what I mean? Some of them look absolutely hilarious, of course, but, you know, <laughs> that's pretty common in these kind of games. Yes, yes, yes. Please stop. I don't care. Okay. Deposit some equipment. One at a time, of course. Riveting. Yeah, I missed that hat. There we go. Let's, uh... Oops. That's already sorted. Nice. Man, we look hilarious, though. <laughs> We'll continue this next time, probably. There's one quest I'm gonna pick up, but I won't do it now. I'm tempted to do it now, but I'm not gonna. Whee! Oof! This is the Adventurer's Pub. The quest we wanna do is this one. This is an adventurer's tavern. It's a tavern where travelers gathered for companionship and farewells. <laughs> Mostly farewells, apparently. Here's a little tip for you. Have you ever heard of the angel slime cap? Yes, I have one. It's an amazing item or hat that triples your experience if you're up to <laughs> if you're up to level 99. The girls are giving them out. There's one in Lane Village if you want it. See you later. This is the adventurer's tavern, the place where travelers come to meet and recruit new friends. What can I do for you? Party search. Are you looking for a companion? The Adventurer's Tavern is looking for a support companion to fight monsters with us. 
but it's not for everyone. I have a job for you. I need you to bring me a bird's song in nectar. Then I can introduce you to a support companion. Actually, my owner asked me to do this for him, but I can't leave the tavern unattended. How about it? Will you take, will you take me on? Yes, I will take you on. Oh, so you'll take care of it. That's the way it should be. Birdsong Nectar is, is only sold by Nady, the material shop in the Lamp Alchemy Guild on Luckland, Luckland Island. But you might be able to get it cheaper to Traveler's Bazaar, so you might want to peek there first. No, it's fine. Traveler's Bazaar is right with a balance. Birdsong Nectar can be found in the plant type category under items to use. If you can't find it in the Traveler's Bazaar or if it's too expensive, go to the Lamp Academy Guild on Luckland Island and buy it. You can give the birdsong nectar you receive to any introducer in any town. Then, please take care of it. So in case you do forget, and you want to look at the quest log, which was in Japanese, if you go to your records and take a look at your quests, they will actually be translated. So it's not too bad. And sometimes, if there's, if there's a distinct location, you can push X, in this case, you can't see it, but, you know, the description tells you where to go anyway. So the quest text is translated, just not when it appears on the screen for some reason. The first time. I mean, we could go take care of this. It's not actually not as long as I thought it would be. Yeah, why not? Alright, fine. We'll take care of this so we can hire some party members. Not rely on the uh, the ones they provide you with from the start. Balbatos, what a name! Inner to establish for me to play Dragon Quest X tonight. Uh, what VPN are you using? Because depending on your VPN, it could be extremely. Extremely bad. I'm using a paid VPN, which is actually really nice. I'll take the railway to... The Ark of the Earth. That's a great name for a train. Oops, I hit X so many times. I'm gonna go to Luckland Island. Off we go! But yeah, if you don't mind using a paid VPN, I can give you a link to a really good one. If, you might actually know which one it is, because uh, I used to save one for Fantasy Star Online 2 back in the day. And, and Didon. In fact, it's using the same payment that I made back then. Of $10. <laughs> in like 2017 or 2016. Yeah, paper traffic is cheap. <laughs> I don't think I'll have much left, though, after this. We'll see. Ah, oh, there's usually a ton of players here. I guess the server I'm on is pretty empty. It is... Like, solo play, so it makes sense. In 80. Let's see... I needed... I needed... Birdsong Nectar. Oh, that's good. No, I'm good. Deal with that later. Do they have an adventurer's in here or tavern? Not that I can see. That's okay. We'll look into it later. There's a few things I'd like to adjust. Depot is working now, but it takes a few seconds to load each paragraph of text. Again, mine's doing it pretty quickly. It, it's probably the VPN. Especially if you have a VPN that is modifying, like, all of your connections. 
because I'm using one that just tunnels it through the game connection, not my overall internet, which is why streaming is working okay. With this paid VPN, though, you can pay like five bucks and you'll be set for months, so, um, don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I didn't look through, like, their um, suggestion for VPN in the guide link I sent you. I just used the one I've always been using, which is probably why I didn't suffer so much. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this should, uh, handily finish this quest, and then we'll stop for tonight. Proton. I'm using something called Mudfish. Yes, you can have the bird song nectar. You really saved my life. The owner is actually the propri proprietress of a very famous tavern. So I was trying to come up with new drinks to serve at the bar. And she's particular about adding bird song nectar to as a secret ingredient. She needs a lot of it, apparently. Well, it's our turn. I'll make arrangements to, arrangements to introduce you to your support companion, as promised. What's your name? Hentaro. No, it's wrong! I have your name in the Adventurer's Ledger. Welcome to the Adventurer Tavern. Your trusty companion awaits your call. Now we can register people to join our party. Get the... The Quest Adventurer's Tavern Welcome. I have completed the quest. Welcome to the Adventurer's Tavern. <laughs> English help. Issues along you want to stay. 12 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours. You can actually stay with 170 something hours too. If you interrupt the game after stalking yourself to the tavern, what? You can become a support companion yourself and try. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is not a good translation. Stalk yourself. You wanna know more? Please talk to me again and check the explanation page. No thanks. Yatta. So I'll show you how this works. We'll replace our mage. You hit uh party search. Then you pick a job that that you would like. Including any advanced jobs. And we're gonna replace our mage with a sage. We pick sage. I want him to be using a staff in particular. And I want him to be at least my level. I think I'm 18. But hopefully up to level 28. Anyone is okay. We get a list of registered sages. And it'll be uh, free because I'm under level 80. We can see what they're made out of. A lot of these stuff, a lot of these guys will have beginner stuff on. Not all of them, though. I want to make sure that someone has a decent amount of spells. 22, 3. Spooky Aura. <laughs> oh, you've been you've been doing a lot of leveling, I see. That's good, though. Unfortunately, you have the triple XP hat on, which I don't want, because it affects me, too. Jesus. You don't have the triple XP. Oh, no, you do. Never mind. Do all of you have the triple XP hat on? Apparently so. Yeah. God damn. Why y'all gotta be super leveling? Oh, whatever. If I can't find someone without it, I'll just cave. Use in battle to launch a fireball? Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
Looks like we're gonna be stuck with one anyway, so we might as well pick someone we like. Um... Well, you're as good as any, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. Hakurun! Or Hokurun. Not sure what your name is. You can join me for 168 hours. <laughs> yes. We will replace our uh, mage. Well, tell that I'll... I'll get Hakurun. <laughs> there we go. Now we have Big Thick Man. Yep, he's here for a week until I replace him. Here he is. Well, he's got the most important skill. <laughs> So Sages are both offensive casters and healers. Of course he's better than me. All these people are better than me. <laughs> nope, yeah. Yeah, really. Alright, so we're gonna stop here for now. I might as well register myself for someone else to pick up. I'm not sure what why they would do that, but you know, maybe they want to help. Type of common in. So yeah, I'm logging out and I'm registered. So now, people could find me and hire me. Like if Jojo played, he could go and look for um, a minstrel that's level 18. He'll probably find me. <laughs> I bet you the free server for ProtoVPN is um, quite slow. But anyways, that will do for now. I know it's a short stream, um, but yeah, I'm tired. I'm sorry. To make up for it, though, I think we can stream a couple of times during the uh, the weekdays rather than just leaving it for the um, the weekends. So that should be that should be okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> Curious to see how many characters we've spent today of my allotted API limit. Let's take a look. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we went through uh, 12,000 characters. <laughs> Out of my 500,000 allowed, that's quite a bit. But, not to worry. That's what it's there for. I just turn off the API functionality when I'm playing solo. Close that, and I uh, should probably put on some music. Guys, why not? All right. So yeah, I had a good time playing Dragon Quest. It's chill. It's nice, and uh, the translation is working uh, phenomenally. Phenomenal. Phenomenally. There we go. <laughs> English is hard. It's phenomenal. All right. It's phenomenal. It's good stuff. I look forward to playing some more, both on stream and off stream, of course. On stream, we'll continue the adventures of Fishman, and off screen, or off uh, stream, I'll just continue the adventures of Elfman. <laughs> It'll be fine. Sleep time indeed. I'll, I'll uh, help you set up Mudfish if you want, Jojo. Because it's totally worth it. After the stream is done. They have some really good servers, like a hundred milliseconds of ping instead of whatever the hell you get free with Proton VPN. But anyways, um, thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, I had a good time, and I hope to see you next time. I'll update the schedule in uh, before. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I'll update the schedule for the weekday stream, so you know when it is. You're welcome, PK, and you're welcome, Yannick. Um, you take care, non pleasantness. Alright, so, you know the drill. Be good to each other, take care, and I'll see you next time. Have a pleasant night, everybody. Bye!